We all like to look effortlessly chic and it's probably what I strive for the most in all my outfit ideas. So I thought I'd share a summer lookbook with you all today with all the looks I've been wearing this July that really helped me create that look. At the end of this video, I'd be really grateful if you would follow the link in the description box below to subscribe to my channel and also follow me over on Instagram. Plus, that's where you'll find all the links to all the outfit ideas I'm sharing today. So let's start with this beautiful blouse that I'm wearing that I got from Reese. It's my one hit wonder doing a lot of the effortlessly chic effort for me. Now I got this blouse at the start of the spring summer season and it sold out pretty quickly. However, I noticed that it recently came back in stock, which is good news for all of those who liked it too. Hopefully you can see in this footage that it's got those beautiful lace detailing panels. And to look for blouses like this that just have that extra special detail to them that makes them stand out from the rest. It's a pretty oversized shape, there's definitely enough room in there and it's got a bit of a bohemian spirit to it as well, which I definitely love. So despite the fact that the rest of my outfit is very chilled out, as you can see I'm just wearing a pair of denim cut-off shorts and paired it with my gold sandals. But by adding a beautiful blouse into the mix, it instantly makes the whole outfit feel effortlessly chic. And that's the trick really. If you're wearing something pretty chilled out and very low key, think about adding just one piece that's a little bit more dressed up or it's got a bit of an interesting detail to it. And that piece will single-handedly elevate your entire look, taking it from being a super chilled outfit to something much more polished and effortlessly chic in no time. Next to an outfit I've been styling in a few different ways already since these trousers arrived. I love the shape of these, definitely my new go-to piece for when I want that easy, everyday chic. They were made from a blend of linen and cotton, so nice and breathable for summer, and that pleat at the front creates really nice shape down the leg. Then I spoiled myself to these little beauties. I can't tell you how happy I am with them. They're elegant, classy, very original, and ridiculously comfy. Money well spent, I think. So for my summer lookbook, I've styled my new favorite trousers and flats with a very simple bodysuit. I got this one a while ago, but I'll link some similar ones she creates in the description box below, as the brand has a really nice minimal style. It does scoop quite low around the arms, so I've layered a plain black vest underneath but I think it works nicely and it feels really natural and effortless as a whole look. Now you might remember this dress from a summer dresses lookbook I did a couple of months ago now. There was lots of outfit inspiration in there, so if you've missed it, I shall link it in the description box below. But this particular dress that I got from And Other Stories has fast become one of my favorites in my capsule wardrobe. So over the last couple of months, I found myself styling it in lots of different ways both dressing it up and dressing it down. So if I want to go very everyday chic, I'll pair it with my Forever sneakers that I got from Everlay, or possibly my high top Converse, I like those with this dress. But when I need to look smarter for certain occasions, I've been styling it like this. And I actually really love this combination and find the addition of a blazer really helps to make the overall look feel more effortlessly chic. And actually the other thing I really love is the camel tone of the blazer sat against the baby blue of the dress. I think they really work together in a very elegant, timeless and sophisticated fashion. Think about if you could add a blazer into the mix. It might not be something you've immediately thought of, but it can often have a really beautiful effect on your overall look. Next in my summer lookbook to a dress that's equally had a lot of wear already, but one that I'd say gives off quite a different vibe from the dress before. This mini feels more girly, probably because of the fabric being embroidery on glace. It's a bit more of a pretty feel, I guess, which I'm fond of too, especially in summer. It's made from organic cotton, looks great with tan details, and I just like adding a sprinkle of gold jewelry to finish. When I think about effortlessly chic outfit ideas, comfort is often one of the first things that springs to mind. If the fabric's too static, the fit too tight, or it just isn't my style, chances are I'll never feel comfortable in it. So try and put comfort high up on your list and that effortless chic vibe will start to shine through. Next up in this summer lookbook to an outfit I feel like I've been wearing on repeat so far this July, 
It's definitely one of my favorites. It's very timeless, it's very elegant, it would be really easy to recreate. And for me, when I look at outfits like this, I see the beauty and the simplicity of it. So breaking it down, all I'm actually wearing is a cotton shirt and a pair of linen trousers. But the trick to looking effortlessly chic is making sure you buy the highest quality you can afford with those really basic pieces. So don't just go for the first shirt you find in Zara, for example. Have a good search across all of the high street for that fabric content and high quality you're looking for. I personally really like cotton poplin with shirts. It gives me that very crisp look that I'm after when creating these kind of outfits. So this outfit is one of my favorite go-to outfits for when I want to look effortlessly chic on a day-to-day -day basis. But it's also the sort of outfit that feels polished enough to wear out and about for meetings, heading to work. I never mind investing in pieces like this because they're those core staples that I reach for time and time again. And the result, of course, is the quality of those fabrics always shines through and then hence makes your outfits feel more effortlessly chic. Another day, another pretty summer dress, and I think it's about time I had a chance to wear them all. I just have a thing for beautiful dresses in spring, summer. They make me feel nice, and I love how they look as well. This is one I got from Farfetch a couple of months ago, and though in my head I'm thinking I can't wait to wear this one on a beach, I'm definitely getting my uses out of it until that point. I've worn this out and about a lot with sandals, and I do like that look, but I wanted to show you how you could dress it up even more with a nice pair of mid heels. I love broderie anglaise and I equally love navy and camel together. So I've got a few of my favorites all rolled into one with this look. The dress is pretty low key and relaxed and I've elevated the look with my handbag and heels. Combined together, I think the overall look feels effortless but sophisticated at the same time. Heading back to my linen trousers now for another way I've been styling them an awful lot this July. Now this look is me in summer but on a slightly cooler day, which we do get an awful lot in the UK. So I'm styling them with a jumper that I got quite a long while ago now, but it is still in stock, so I shall link that in the description box below. That combined with my linen trousers and a few other details with my handbag, my belt, my sandals, makes me feel very effortless, but in a really low-key, laid-back fashion for everyday wear. You could wear a little camisole top underneath that jumper if you wanted to, so then of course you've got the option to take it off if it gets a little bit hotter throughout the day. And equally, if it's a very rubbish weather day, you could pair it with a nice trench coat. I think that would really complete the look nicely. As you've probably gathered from this lookbook, linen trousers have become quite a go-to for me, particularly when I'm really wanting to create that effortlessly chic outfit idea. I don't, however, think you need to spend a fortune on linen trousers, as lots of high street stores have got some great alternatives at the moment. It's just about doing a bit more research to find the quality you're after, or let me do the searching for you, which I'm more than happy to do. Loose fit jeans are one of the big fashion trends for this summer 2021 and this next outfit idea is how I've been styling mine recently. So obviously the jeans by their very nature of being loose and oversized are very low key. So when I want to make my whole outfit feel more effortlessly chic and elegant and timeless, I tend to add something a little bit more luxury into the mix. So in this case, I've added a silk blouse that I got from Everlane. Now, of course, it doesn't have to be a silk blouse, but have a good look through your own capsule wardrobe and find the nicest, highest quality blouse or shirt that you've got and have a see if that would pair nicely with your very laid back pair of jeans. And it's that contrast of those high and low pieces that you might have in your own wardrobe that when blended together really help create a really effortlessly chic and polished look. And hopefully you agree from this summer lookbook that you absolutely don't need to go glam to create an effortlessly chic outfit idea. In fact, if anything, I prefer going more low key and laid back and just letting the fabrics, the shapes, the cuts of those pieces do all the effortlessly chic effort for me. Sometimes the most simple and cost-effective pieces in my wardrobe end up becoming some of my favorites. And that's definitely the case with this lovely linen shirt I got from H&M a little while ago in this gorgeous shade of coral. It's all about the color. Find a beautiful shade like this and you'll notice your outfits feel effortlessly chic without even trying. 
So a bit like the look before, I've just kept it very simple on my bottom half with the rest of my styling. I'm wearing my monkey jeans. These are the straight leg ones that I bought four, five years ago now. I've added my new tan belt just to give it a bit more detail and paired it with my gladiator sandals to make it feel very low key on my bottom half. Finishing off with my numero set that I got from Palem Paris, which seems to be getting a lot of wear recently. All I'm actually wearing is a shirt, a pair of jeans and some sandals. But if you keep an eye out for really beautiful shades of shirts and blouses that you integrate into your own outfits, it can absolutely make the world of difference to your overall look. One way to always look effortlessly chic with minimal effort is to find yourself one beautiful dress, which is pretty much where I'm at with this next outfit that I've worn an awful lot already this July. I bought this dress a couple of months ago from Mango and the first thing that caught my eye was of course that lovely polka dot print. I actually don't have very much print in my wardrobe at all. I do love my neutrals, but this ticked so many boxes I literally couldn't resist. First of all, it's made from tensile, which is beautiful fabric that's very sustainable. I love the shape of it. I thought it was very original, but still very in keeping with my own personal style. It's got an element of grown up, sophisticated, bohemian chic to it, which I love. Aside from wearing this one a lot so far this month, I wanted to point it out as well, because finding yourself the perfect summer dress is one way that you can very quickly and easily get an effortlessly chic outfit idea. You don't have to think too much about your styling, it's one piece and you're done. All you've got to do is think about accessories, which with something quite elaborate like this dress, I would always dress it down with sandals, a beach bag, something very chilled, to try and contrast with that quite elaborate full-on dress. It just isn't my cup of tea to wear a dress like this with high heels. I personally would feel too dressed up, I'd feel too glam and probably a little bit uncomfortable. That high-low juxtaposition is much more my kind of style, but I also think it's more effortlessly chic as a result. Back to my old but new favourite jeans and to an outfit that's had an awful lot of wear so far this summer. So this is a bit more of a dressed up outfit than the other jeans outfit I showed you, but not something so dressed up that I wouldn't feel comfortable wearing it in the daytime. I like the addition of my tan heels, obviously they give me a bit of height, but it's also one of the trends this spring summer, so I feel like I'm ticking that box as well. And then I've tied in that color with the belt as well, just to cinch me in a little bit more. That blouse is actually fairly old, but I've noticed that it's recently come back in stock, which is great news because I would say this is probably one of my favorite blouses, stroke shirts that I've got in my entire wardrobe. It's got that tiny bit of lace detailing around the collar, which gives it more interest, and then it fastens in a slightly unusual way. Now I've finished this look with that beautiful Demelier handbag that I got recently. This is the Santa Monica with the gold chain. I've linked it in the description box below. It just seems a shame to save it for evening only when I don't actually go out very much. So it's been getting a lot of use in the day wear too recently. Talking of effortlessly chic evening wear, this next look has probably become my go-to. This is a dress I actually got probably a year ago now from a brand called Reformation. This dress has become quite classic for me in my own capsule wardrobe. I tend to wear it a lot in the daytime and dress it down with sandals or trainers, but then I think it really shines the most for evening wear. And I finished off the look with another evening bag I have from a brand called Paris 64. It's a very effortless evening wear look that is just my cup of tea. I really hope you've enjoyed this summer lookbook and it's given you lots of outfit ideas and inspiration. If you'd like to see all the outfits I wore this July, then don't forget to follow the link in the description box below to see my daily style pictures over on Instagram. And again, if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would be very grateful if you'd like to do so. Hopefully you'll join me back here next Sunday for lots more styling tips and fashion advice. Have a great week, everyone.